Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can increase the speed of a website with the help of a single plugin. If you are having a website or a blog, then you know that speed is very much important factor these days for SEO. If your website is not fast enough to give a better user experience, then definitely it's not going to rank on Google search engine or any other search engine out there. In this video, step by step, I will explain how you can increase the speed of your website. So first of all, we will test our website in three different tools. That is DT Matrix, Pingdom, and Page Speed Insight. And then we will do speed optimization in our website. And then again, we will check the speed of our website with the help of same three plugin that we used earlier. That is DT Matrix, Pingdom, and Page Speed inside before proceeding further let me tell you i'm not using any premium web hosting i'm just using a shared web hosting of chemi cloud chemi cloud is new but uh, believe me it's one of the best uh, web hosting provider that i have came across if you have not purchased any web hosting or planning to purchase web hosting then i strongly suggest to go with the chemi cloud because if you purchase chemi cloud hosting then they will give you a free domain and along with that we will get a lot of free features which will be helpful to increase our website speed for example cdn so all those features we will discuss and we will see how we can configure them first of all let's test our website in the three different tools first tool is uh, gt matrix so in this gt matrix let me do a quick retest my blog name is techieblogging.com. Let me do a retest and see what is the current speed performance of my website. Similarly, let me go to the Pingdom. Here I already have pasted my website URL. I will do a fresh website speed test by clicking on this button, start test. Similarly, page speed insight, which is official website of uh, Google. And here we just have to paste our website address and click on analyze button so that it will start a speed test of our website. Now let me come back to DT matrix and here the speed test is completed and we can see that we got 91% score and Y slow score is 74. And if we will come down then we will also see what are the settings that we have to change in order to increase the score. Under Weisslow, we can see the CDN is a factor where we got uh, zero grade. That's why we need to concentrate on that along with HTTP request and expired header. Now let me tell you, CDN is free in uh, Amy Cloud web hosting. So we will see how we can configure and at, at the end of this video, you will see the grade will be increased for this parameter. Even the page speed will also get increased. The second tool is Pingdom Test Tool. And in Pingdom, let's see our result. Performance grade is 72 and load time is 2.35 seconds. And then finally, Google Page Speed Insights, where the mobile score is 66 and the desktop is 87. So even if without any optimization, we are seeing that the scores are pretty much good because of the Chemi Cloud web hosting that I am using. So now let's go back to our dashboard and start speed optimization. So Chemi Cloud has a default caching plugin that is Lightspeed Cache and we all have to do the settings on this plugins only. There is no need of any extra plugins we have to install. So let me click on the setting button. If you are not able to see Lightspeed Cache in your website and definitely you may not be using Chemi Cloud. You can also install this plugin by going to the plugin directory. Now first option that we have to see is the general option. Under general option, we have to make sure that this particular option is enabled. That is enable Lightspeed Cache. In this page, there are many options are there which are related to TTA. We don't have to do anything on that. Just keep it as default because these are already optimized. Second is that cache. Here 
we'll have to enable the caching feature for various uh, sections. So cache logged in user, keep it as on, cache comments, cache rest API. So pretty much everything we have to make it enable except for cache mobile. If you are using AMP, then you should enable it. Otherwise, keep it as it is. So one thing I would like to say that I have written a comprehensive blog for this particular topic. So if you feel that I am a little bit fast on this video, then you can visit the blog where I have explained step by step about each settings that we are doing here. So I'll put a link in the description as well along with the ChemiCloud web hosting. So you can also explore that. Now, once we make the changes here, make sure you click the save changes button here. Now the next section we have to go on purge. So here basically we just have to enable one option that is purge all on upgrade. It means whatever changes you make, let it be creation of a new post or any modification of a page, then all the cache will be purged and a fresh set of cache will be uploaded to the servers. Next, exclude. Here we need to mention if we want to exclude anything from caching. So we want to include all things in caching, whichever is possible. So in this section, don't do anything. Just leave it as it is. Next is optimize. Here many of the options that we have to do to optimize files like CSS and JavaScript. So CSS minify, CSS combine, and CSS HTTP slash true push needs to be in enable state, which will optimize the CSS file. Similarly, we need to enable these three options as well in order, in order to optimize JavaScript file. Now this TTL value, no need to modify it, just keep it as it is. Then three options are there to optimize HTML files. Make sure all these three are in enable state. Then load CSS asynchronously, it should be on. Generate critical CSS, generate critical CSS in background. These two option also needs to be enabled. Then these three options, inline CSS async library, load layers deferred and exclude jQuery. These three options also need to be enabled. Now DNS prefetch, the DNS prefetch is very much important. So basically what it does is that if any resources of our website is hosted in third party websites like Google APIs, Google Analytics, then it will instruct the web browser to contact to this server before the user actually comes to our page. So this will increase the loading speed of our website. So these are some default websites which needs to be DNS prefetched. In your case, this uh, box may be empty. So I will put all these uh, links in the description. You can copy it and you can paste it here. Last option in this uh, section, remove comments, keep it uh, on and then click on save changes. Now we need to go to the tuning section. In this particular page, we'll have to enable combined CSS priority, combined JS priority, and remove query strings, load Google fonts asynchronously, and remove Google fonts. All these options need to be enabled. Remove WordPress emoji, because we don't usually require this particular feature. So it's better to stop loading these emojis. And that's all in this page. Make sure all these options are in enable state, and then click on save changes, and then comes the media. Media basically refers to the images that we have in our website or in a page or any video like a YouTube embedded video. So first option is that lazy load image. We need to enable this. This will this feature will make sure that the image in a website will be loaded at that particular moment only when the user is actually about to see the page. Usually what happens is that every image in a page will be downloaded and which increases the loading speed of, of our page. So if we enable lazy load images, then we will see a drastic increase in our website loading speed. Then 
another option is that uh, lazy load iframes this will basically helpful if you are using youtube embedded videos or any other videos in embedded format next option is that inline lazy load image library this option needs to also be enabled and uh, in this particular section pretty much everything is in enable state except this remove original backups so this does not contribute much in increasing the website speed so i have kept it in off state if you want then you can uh, enable it as well and once you make the changes just click on save changes then comes the cdn cdn is content delivery network so many web hosting provider will charge extra for this setting so cdn plays a vital role in increasing the load, loading speed of your website so if your user is visiting your website from a remote location then if cdn is enabled then the website will be loaded from a data center which is nearer to that particular users so it's avoid lot of redirections and uh, the page loads very faster so in this section make sure that uh, you enable this by clicking on this on button and then cdn mapping so pretty much these are by default enabled if you see that it is in off state make sure you click on this to enable these features and uh, that's all in this uh, section one more thing is that load jquery remotely make it as google and uh, rest options are there if you are using any apis from cloudflare or quick cloud api as we are not using them so we can just leave it as it is and click on save changes now the next option is esi so under esi you can uh, enable all these options but i suggest keep it as it is because it does not contribute much in case of uh, website speed and then advanced option under advanced option uh, most of the things you can keep it as it is but you can enable this option that is object cache so my website is working perfectly fine without this option enable so i will keep it as it is and in this particular section one particular options that you need to enable that is browser cache and uh, once you enable it pretty much uh, that's it you don't have to do anything on this particular section and you can click on save changes once you do that go to next section that is debug on this particular section you just have to make sure that this particular option that is disable all features should be in off state so let me make it off so if this feature is in enable state then whatever setting you have made on all these sections those will not be in active state so you have to disable these uh, features and then click on save changes now the last option is crawler so here also you don't have to do anything all the settings are already pre optimized so keep it as it is no need to touch anything here now this concludes all the settings that we have to make from uh, light speed cache settings and uh, now let's go back to the testing tool and see if our website performance is increased or not so i will do a test on uh, gt matrix first i will just have to click on retest and sometimes it may takes around 15 minutes or 20 minutes so you have to do testing after 5 to 10 minutes to see the actual results now we are about to see the results from gt matrix and here you can see that the score is increased to 98% and the vice low score is 90% and now if we go under vice low you can see that the add expires headers we got some score and under cdn also we got some score so now let's go to pingdom do a test once again so performance grade is 72 and load time is 2.35 seconds and uh, let's see what is the result that we see here now and meanwhile we will also do a testing on google page speed insight here the mobile score is 66 and desktop score is 87 let me do a testing on this and we will see what is the increase in performance once again do this testing twice or thrice to see the actual result because it always takes time 
to be reflected from the server side. Now we can see that the mobile speed has increased to 94. And let's see the desktop, it's 98. I'm pretty much sure that it will get increased if I will do a retest after some time. And we will do that and let's see if it got increased or not. Meanwhile, let's uh, see the Pingdom test results. So the performance grade is increased to 78 and the load time is also reduced to 1.3 seconds. Once again, I will tell you to do a retest after some time to see the actual results. And uh, finally, let's uh, do one time again the test from uh, feed inside. I will do a test again by clicking on analyze. See what is the result we are getting now. I believe we got the pretty much uh, same score in case of mobile and in case of desktop, we got 100. So, guys, that's the difference we are getting. Initially, it was around 87. Now we have scored a 100% score in case of desktop. And in case of mobile as well, 93 is not a bad score. So I strongly recommend to use this plugin along with Demo Cloud to get a faster speed for your website. So that's all for this video. Once again, I have uh, written a comprehensive blog on this particular topic, which you, whose link you will get it in the description. And uh, I will also give the link or uh, Demi Cloud web hosting where you can purchase your web hosting and if you already have hosting then you can also domain transfer for free and you can also do a site transfer for free you just have to contact their customer support and they will do all the migrations for you so that's all for this video hope you have uh, gained some knowledge from this don't forget to like it share it and uh, again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification about more such videos from my channel. Thank you for watching.